So if you have a repair job to be done, would you like to go to the manufacturer or to the local mechanic? <laughs> Everything in this body was created from within. When it is so, can't it fix from within? The thousands of people who are watching live on the internet, they all want to know, is there is a prescription for good health, <laughs> spirituality, yoga, <laughs> meditation? <laughs> <laughs> because I have seen, you know, some of the impossible things that you have done for other people when, when, when they were not well. But more importantly, when your health took bad, uh, no doctor or no medical dictionary or direct, directly could ever detect it. So is there something else to stay well? I read in the book, Aditi beautifully wrote in a biography. She said, you are a mystic, you know, to have, have an undiagnosed illness for… and then got it cured. See, uh, the I hope whole you all body. have the same question on your health. You want to stay healthy, right? And oh, everybody who is looking at us today, they want to know, Dr. Reddy never asked this question, <laughs> how do we stay? <laughs> I want their business, but I want them to stay well soon. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, uh, we created this body from inside. So the manufacturer of this body is inside. So if you have a repair job to be done, would you like to go to the manufacturer or to the local mechanic <laughs> If you had excess, if you had excess, you would like to go to the manufacturer. If you lost excess, you will go to the local tinker to do this and that. If there was no medical science as it is, I would say even half the people would be dead by now, here in this audience. Yes? Because uh, the average life expectancy of an Indian in 1947 was twenty-eight years. Today it has risen to sixty-four. One important factor is medical science the way it is. So I am not trying to belittle or make fun of medical sciences. It is very significant, what has been achieved in the last thirty to forty years is phenomenal. The question is just this, if you had access to the source of that which creates this body, definitely every problem that you generate within the body could be handled. Now there are two kinds of ailments, infectious and chronic. Infectious Ailments happen to us because of an external invasion from an organism. You must go to the doctor, don't try to meditate on it <laughs> But seventy percent of the ailments on the planet are self-created. I am saying self-created because it happened from within you. So what is happening from within you can be very easily fixed from within you. What comes to you from outside? you need outside help for that. So you have to fight an organism, then you need medicine. So the rest of the ailments, almost seventy percent are self-created. Why would your body work against you? This body is essentially programmed for health. Every cell in this body is programmed for health. Why would it turn against you? Because somewhere you're not keeping it happy to put it in a very simple language. Why would your own family turn against you? Somewhere they're not happy with you, isn't it? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> they're not happy with you with something that you're doing. So similarly, some cells in the body, some parts of your body are not happy with you for some reason. You must pay a little more attention. There is a way, a systematic way of paying attention to this one because everything in this body was created from within. When it is so, can't it fix from within? So this is not a miracle. I want people to understand this is not a miracle. What is a miracle is, suppose you did not know what is electricity. I came here and uh, I just pressed that part of the wall and lights come on. 
who do you think I am? Suppose, you know, a thousand years ago if I had a cell phone, I could just pull out the cell phone and talk to somebody in America, you would think I'm God, isn't it? So what is a miracle is that which you do not understand, that which is not fitting into your… Un your logical perception seems miraculous to you. As your logic evolves, so many things which were miracles hundred years ago are normal things in our day-to-day -day life today, isn't it? Isn't it so? So it is not a miracle, it's just a deeper understanding of your… your… of your own… the way you're constructed. So this is something that we need to pay attention to.